before you long. Praise God. But just a little short while. And now, because we are uh, preaching, we thank God uh, for the uh, fellowship card giving service afterwards. Praise the Lord. Uh, and so what I like to do, uh, praise God, is to acknowledge uh, those that helps me in uh, this ministry. Praise God. Sister Lindsay that reads for me. Praise God. And, and then uh, 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 Dean is Tara and her husband James McLean. Praise God. They own the, the uh, Zoom. I thank God for them. And the thing about them is it don't make no difference where they at. They can be all the way down south. All right. And we still have the Zoom. Amen. Now, don't ask me how. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a technology man. But praise God. Uh, for some reason, they, they, they're there. Amen. They're there. And it, we don't get a whole lot of glitches and stuff. Right. But I thank God for them. And I thank God for some digging his mercy. Praise God, our pastor the president. Now, if you allow me to just, just do that, just give them a little love. Praise God. Matter of fact, you will ask them to come up. Come up, come up here. Praise the Lord. And just give just a little love. Praise God. Oh, bless God, bless God. Sister Valencia, a little love. Diggers and, and Sister McLean, Brother McLean, a little love. Thank you. Thank God. Thank you. Praise God. And of course, my past day president. All right. Tell them to come and get you. Give them love. Praise God for her. Has done an exemplary job all the year. And we thank God. Thank God. We thank you. Praise the Lord. And we praise the Lord for you. Now, if anybody thinks that church is just one person, it is not. you got to have people to help you to push forward in the Lord. Praise God. Uh, we are, our minds are turned to the birth of Christ, because this is the time of year that we celebrate the birth of Christ. Now, some folks say, well, when Jesus was born, it was not cold. Like it is now. Praise the Lord. We've been hearing that for years and years. Oh, praise God. And then, uh, praise God. But then, if, if I remember, no, it wasn't cold then. Uh, Mary being pregnant and traveling, praise God, on a donkey on their way to Bethlehem. Praise the Lord. Uh, but then this northern country is not like Jerusalem area or Bethlehem. Right. Uh, bless God. And so then, uh, bless God, uh, they were in the east, we are in the west. And even if it's not the right date, it's okay because he was born. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Praise God. So some folks don't want to celebrate because, no, he was born. Yeah. And he was born to take away our sin and reconcile us back to the Father. And that's all I need to know. Whether well, it's July, it could be July, and we thank God for Jesus being born. Praise God. 
Look at unto him, the birth of Christ. We got to remember now that when God made man, yes. we are going to come to you in the first chapter of Matthew. Praise the Lord. When God made man in the beginning, he made man with the intentions uh, not to block him away from disobedience. But he made him in subject to the mind of the angel. The angel that was created in glory had the mind and still today got the mind to obey him or not. Man had the mind, Adam had the mind to obey him or not. So then, praise God, God gave the intentions and told us to be obedient because he wants the obedience to come by free will. Right. All right. All right. When I say by free will, praise God, when I come to the Lord mm -hmm. and ask God for this salvation, and tell God that we're going to walk in his way and in his will. He wants me to do it. He's not going to put anything there to block me. But he wants me to do what I say willingly. Praise our God. So then, praise God, let the truth be told. Adam failed. Praise God, and therefore it threw us in another era. Mm -hmm. Now, I just need you to say consequences. consequences. There are consequences when sin is on board. Yeah. There, 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 there. God moves and gives us a, a consequence. In other words, when Adam sinned, death came on board. Yeah. If sin had was not committed, we would live forever. Right. Number one, he made us to be eternal. Mm -hmm. But he changed it because he is God. Come on. He can change his mind at any, any given point. Yes, right. And the thing about it is that nobody can do a thing about it. That's That's right. Right. Isn't that right. wonderful? Right. So then by changing, uh, changing his mind because of sin, Come on, death began to take hold. Mm. Come on. Now I know Adam lived the 900 and some years, right. praise the Lord, but death is still there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Consequences. And then I, in the consequences, we heard the apostles, praise God, and Jesus picked it up and said, whatever a man sow, that he shall also reap. Tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you. And then, praise God, Jesus came to get us back or coordinated with the will of God. And by coming to get us coordinated with the will of God, we find out that Jerusalem don't want to accept it. Come on. But in his coming, in his coming, we have, praise God, a visitor that came to Mary. And the visitor came to her and said to them, God, God is, is, has watched, in other words, God has watched her. Yeah. She has become righteous in the sight of God. Yeah. And so by being righteous in the sight of God, God has chosen her yeah. to bear his son. Mm -hmm. Tell the Lord, thank you. Now, never in the history of human being that you would take an angelic being to be with an earthly woman. Come on. It's just not possible. It is totally impossible. Praise our God. 
But then this is what God did. This is what he did. He reached within himself. His own spirit he took, which we call the Holy Ghost. Tell the Lord that. Every time I think about it, I start smiling because it makes me glad. He did it for you and I. Reached within himself and took his spirit. And the angel said, he's going to overshadow you, Mary. <laughs> overshadow. Now, we're dealing with the Holy Spirit, which overshadowed Mary. Uh -huh. And by overshadowing her, praise God, he planted the seed of the woman in, that was already in her. Or should I say, he fertilized <laughs> the seeds of the woman that was it. It wasn't given to man. It's the seed of the woman. Uh -huh. All right. Another impossible thing. Women don't have seeds. That's how come we know that it's God. God, if only God works the impossible. Now, if the woman don't have seed, but what he did, he, he created seed in marriage. Good God of mine. And there you got Jesus coming forth. Praise the Lord. Now, wow, wow, wow. Mary was overshadowed. At this point, she had already received the Holy Ghost. Yes. And by already receiving the Holy Ghost, she decided, I got to go see my cousin. Yes. I got to go see. Uh, Elizabeth, uh -huh. Zachariah's wife. Yes, right. Go ahead and praise God and have fellowship with her. Mm -hmm. The Bible said when they got together, the Holy Ghost jumped out of Mary yes, right. into Elizabeth. That's right. And John received the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. Tell the Lord thing. Yes. All right, all right, all right. Oh, bless the Lord. Right. So we have it. John received the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Oh, bless the Lord. Now understand the Holy Spirit. There are more than one operations of the Holy Spirit. There is more than one way. Now the Holy Spirit, praise God, uh, if any man come to God mm -hmm. and ask for forgiveness, remember that he is just and will forgive you of your sin. Tell the Lord, thank you. Now, uh, praise God. Uh, not only does the Holy is he a, a forgiver of sin. But the Holy Spirit will work different administrations in your life when you give over to the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In other words, yes, he has more than one operations, more than one gifts. Praise God. And so then, praise God, here we, we understand, yes, I can have the Holy Spirit. But I don't necessarily have to have the power of the Holy Spirit. The power, the power, the power that calls the devils to tremble. The power that calls the sick to be healed. The power, praise God, that calls the lame or the dead to get up. Talk about the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Now understand, Jesus had it within him. Uh -huh. he, had, he had it all within him. Yeah. All right. He came out of the mountain and began to his ministry. Okay. When Lazarus died, he had it in him. Yeah. He looked up to the Father. Mm -hmm. Now, now, he didn't tell us, he didn't tell me what he said. But I can imagine what he said. Praise God, Father, you know you've done it already. Mm -hmm. Praise our God. You did it back in the years, and he knew exactly when he did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Praise our God. And Lazarus came back. Listen, in other words, he came out of where he was. Uh -huh. Now, he may not have wanted to come, but he came. Because the word brought him back. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure where he was was all right, but he couldn't be anywhere else but in the abyss. Uh -huh. Paradise was not yet made. That's right. So the abyss is the outer court of hell. That's what the abyss is. And in the outer courts of hell, you had uh, the, some of the prophets and some of the God people waiting there for the coming of Jesus. Yeah. Praise our God. So then, praise God, Lazarus uh, 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 had to come back. Come on. Before Jesus died, mm -hmm. from the abyss, mm -hmm. to the Lord's family. Yes, and I want you to know, praise God, when he came out, he came out hopping. Mm -hmm. but, and I heard this woman say, I'm hopping, but I ain't stopping. Right. Right. He came out hopping and going forth mm -hmm. in the Lord. Yes. Oh, I want you to know today that there's nothing the Lord cannot do. Right. I find him in the book of Matthew. Praise God. Somebody said the birth of Jesus. The birth of Jesus. Uh, Matthew, the first chapter, the 16th verse. Let's read it for us. And Jacob begat Joseph. The and this is, and this is, this is the virgin's birth. Of Jesus is safeguarded in the genealogy. And Jacob, we're not talking about Jacob, praise God, Abraham uh, or, or Isaac, uh, or son, Jacob, praise the Lord, not that Jacob, this is another Jacob. And Jacob, uh, bless the Lord, uh, begot who? Joseph. And Jacob begot Joseph. Bye. Now, Joseph and Mary kind of go together because both of them, praise God, came from the lineage uh, uh, of, of Abraham, praise God, and so, and so therefore uh, David was part of that lineage uh, also. But however, uh, Jesus, uh, praise God, Joseph, uh, 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 Jacob begot Joseph, and what, and what else did it say? The husband of Mary. Now, Joseph, the husband of Mary, yes? Of whom was born Jesus. Of whom was born Jesus. I want you to look at that. Look at that, because look how it is said. Now, let's go back over it slow for me. And Jacob... And Jacob begat Joseph. We use the word begot. Jacob begot Joseph. Yes. The husband of Mary. The husband of Mary. We're still in the flesh, right? Go ahead. Of whom? was born Jesus. Notice they did not use the word begot. All right. Mm. But it uses the word Mary. It was the last one used that 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 brought forth Jesus. All right. All right. Because Joseph could not use begot right. because he wasn't the natural daddy of Jesus. All right. All right. Good God Almighty. And so then, here, 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 Mary, the, the, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. I said God reached within himself. It was the Holy Spirit that fertilized the seed of this woman. And this woman didn't have a seed. Well, if she didn't have a seed, who put it there? Somebody had to put a seed there. Yeah. And it's not only somebody that I'm talking about. Yeah. But I'm talking about God. Yeah. I heard that he can do the impossible. 
do one more than we can think or imagine. God is able. Ah, and he put the seed there. Go ahead. Who is called Christ. Who was called Christ, the Savior, to reconcile, to bring back the oneness that God had with Israel, or should I say mankind, mm -hmm. in the beginning. Right. Tell it up. Right. Is that all of it? Is? Yes. Oh, pray God. So then, so then, we look a further at it, and we see even in the works of the uh, apostles, uh, or should I say the prophets, the prophets was hitting them and wanted them to know that the time is coming. Yes, right. Let me tell you something. When every preacher that preaches, preaching is really prophesying. And prophecy, praise God, prophesying the word of God. It may not happen right now, but you can assure yourself it will come to pass. Tell the Lord, thank you. If you don't believe me, I heard him in the book of Isaiah, the seventh chapter of Isaiah. Let's give me that about a 14th verse. Therefore, therefore, the Lord himself, the Lord himself, shall give you a sign. Shall give you a sign. Behold, yeah. a virgin shall conceive. Behold, now look at it. Hold it now. Let's slow it down. Behold. A virgin. Now look what the Bible says. Now you, 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 we believe the Bible. I believe the word of God. And I believe, for God, that the word of God cannot lie to me. Why? Number one, because God, the Bible let us know it is impossible for God to lie. Tell the Lord, thank you. Now, let's go back over that because it uses the word virgin. Go ahead. And bear a son. A virgin. Bear a son. Yes. And shall call his name Emmanuel. And shall call his name Emmanuel. Now that came from Isaiah. The virgin is bringing forth a son. Now you, you, you now, if you're gonna bring forth a son, you now, now to you and me, we, you, then you can't be a virgin. That's right. And then have a child. That's right. It's impossible. It's not done. But the prophet is saying it, and at back in that day, it probably didn't understand it well. The prophet is saying it, praise God, but we understand it. The virgin is bringing forth a son. Mm -hmm. Is that all the lessons anymore? That's the end of the 14th verse. All right. So Mary was the virgin. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And even after she brought forth Jesus, she was still. A virgin. God Almighty. She was still untouched. Mm -hmm. Tell the Lord, thank you. Ah, ah. Well, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's look at Matthew. The book of Matthew, then. Praise God. At the, back to the first chapter. And look at that 18th verse. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. Yes. When as his mother Mary was exposed to Joseph. 
As his mother Mary was engaged, she was engaged. Now, when you engage a woman back in that day, engagement is like the first step of marriage. All right? It's the first step of marriage. Y'all ain't saying nothing and everybody here right. right now. I'm looking at the top of everybody here. <laughs> God bless you. Praise the Lord. So then, so then. Okay, go ahead. Before they came together. Before he was engaged to her. Uh -huh. Or should I say, he was pre-married to her. All right. Before, before they came together. Before, before, before there was a marriage bed. Before. He was already there with her. All right. Uh -huh. Praise God. Go ahead. She was found with child. She was found with a child. Yeah. Of the Holy Ghost. Of um, what kind of child? The Holy Ghost. What kind? The Holy Ghost. She was found with a child of the Holy Ghost, and she still was a murderer. Oh my. Some people just don't believe it. But this is the word of the Lord. Praise our God. Yes, she was found with a child. And she was a child of the Holy Ghost. It was the spirit of the living God. Praise God. That overshadowed her. Fried her. Yes. And there she was with a child uh -huh. of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Bring mm -hmm. on. And that 25th verse says what? And knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn Joseph son. Joseph did not knew Mary at all. Not at this time. Mm -hmm. Because when you are engaged, there is a certain time that you cannot be together. You have to fulfill your time of engagement. Tell the Lord thing. Now if you don't do it and the town find out about it, you are in trouble. The best thing for you to do is get up and get out of there. Because these people, they, they, I, I got to say, these people keep and believe the law and will kill you with no problem. Praise, praise God. Oh, but go ahead, Lance. And he called his name Jesus. And, and the angel had already came to Joseph in a dream and told Joseph, it is the authority of the man of the house to be able to name the child. Praise God. And so he told Joseph exactly the name that to call Jesus. Yeah. And so Joseph did that. Mm -hmm. Praise God. It was somewhat like John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Zacharias didn't believe nothing. And so the Lord kept him quiet for nine months. All right. And after everybody, after he was born, and praise God, John the Baptist was born, if you remember, uh, all the women were trying to name him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise God. I, 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 I can imagine it. Let's call him Sammy. <laughs> uh, 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 no, no, no. This is when John, he was writing, praise God, and the only way of communication he, he would write uh -huh. to communicate. But then, praise God, after he was born, they were trying to name him. John spoke out and said, His name shall be called John. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when he spoke out, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. God had given to him, praise God, and, and now it's Joseph. Here the angel of the Lord had given it Joseph Jesus' name to the dream. Uh -huh. And he spoke it out. Tell, praise God. Oh, bless the Lord. There's any more than this. That's the answer. All right, I tell you what. Now, let's, let, let's understand. He was in Bethlehem. Because... It was a move, and it was a drastic move by Joseph. 
Joseph had to go to Bethlehem to pay the taxes. Right. Bethlehem is known as the city of David. Mm -hmm. So then, praise God, by being in Bethlehem, it fulfilled the word of God that Jesus was to be born. Yeah. There were three men who were called wise men. Because God know your beginning, your ending from the beginning. Well, yeah. He knows everything you need. Yeah, he knows. Sometimes, praise God, in your need, yeah. you may break down and start crying. Well, but God already knows know your need. Yeah. Tell a lot of things. He was able to already work it out. Yeah. Praise God. So then what he did was he put those men on the run. And they were going and trying to find him. Praise God. Uh, of where Jesus was. Yeah. They saw the star when he was born. So then uh, the wise men had to get their houses ready. Get the camels ready. Yes. Get my entourage ready. Yeah. Because I'm going to take this murk and this gold and this silver. Yes. I'm going to take it over and give it to my king. Yes. Yes. Tell it all, thank you. And so then they was on the run. Praise God. And we see, I tell you what, the second chapter of Matthew. Uh, so the lens is the same chapter in that 16 verse says what? Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men. The wise men went, praise God, and told Herod, uh, uh, Herod that we seen the star of the king of the Jews. Mm -hmm. Herod tried to be smart and tried to be slick. Mm -hmm. we, we, we still today try to be slick. Praise God. We 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 want to uh, uh, we, we want to be the way that we think that it is. So then here I said, when you find it, come back to me. So I can come and worship him also. That that wasn't telling the truth. Right. No, if you find him, come back to me so I can kill him. <laughs> Praise God. Go ahead. Then. Was exceeding wrath. And sent forth. He was mad. He was mad because the wise men, now they were the wise enough to say, okay. But while they were sleeping, this is what the Lord did. God got in their dream. See, God can get in your dream. And God began to speak to them and told them, don't go back to Hera. Go out another way. Tell it all thank you. Praise our God. And, and here now, they, 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 they was ready to go out another way and they went out another way. Praise the Lord, they gave. They, they were there with Jesus. Praise God. But understand Jesus now. Understand. Understand. Praise God. Here I got mad. And so then, uh, uh, he knew that the, that the wise man had been slifted. Uh -huh. So then, praise God, here now, he made a decree yes, to kill every boy from two years and da old and down. Yes. Kill them all. So the wise men, many times we see in the exhibit, we see Jesus, we see Joseph, we see Mary, praise God, and then we see the wise men. No, the wise men wasn't there. They was not there down in the pasture. All right. When they went in, the, no, the white man wasn't there yet. Two years later, right. 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 they showed up. Yes. Bring up what, 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 what that, that, it, that signifies is that they want you to know the wise man played a vital part right. in Jesus' delivery. Yes. Praise God. But I want you to know. God had already put them on the road. Yeah. Praise God, they brought the myrrh. 
Praise God, and was able to sell some of them. Yeah. Joseph and Mary didn't have no money. Uh -huh. They did not know how they were going to uh, uh, make the way with Jesus. But I want you to know the Lord, the angel came to Joseph and said, go down in Egypt. Yeah. And I want you to wait there in Egypt till I come get you. Yeah. Tell the Lord, thank you. I want you to know, praise God, that sometimes you got to go down in Egypt. Yeah. And you got to wait on the Lord until he come. Yeah. Tell the Lord, thank you. Jesus was born on the Bethlehem day. Praise God and the city of David. And David was the lineage Praise God that Jesus was born to. Yeah. Ruth was in power. Boaz was in power. Yeah. There's Rahab in power. Yeah. But I want you to know that God, God knew all about it. And there's no way the Lord can work it out. No way that he would fail you. Say it! We're leaving out here another way, and we're going the way of the law. You gotta hang in there and lift the Lord up. Hang in there and let God be glorified. Say yeah, yeah, he was born that I might live, born, yeah, that I might have life and have it more abundantly. Say yeah, yes, Lord, oh God, I thank you. Thank you. Yeah, hey, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Keep on pressing your way. May not feel like it, but you gotta keep on going. May be tired in your spirit, but you gotta keep on pressing. Look what the Bible said. For men are always what? And not what? Pray and don't stop. Now I'm understanding why every time I turn around, that Jesus was going somewhere to pray. Yeah. Well, he, Jesus was my own prime example. Right. To love, thank you. Yes, he did. And after the wise men saw him, it, it's wonderful. They got out of there. Seven to eight days later, they took Jesus to the to the synagogue and he met Simon at the synagogue yeah. Simon said now I can die yeah. because now it was promised to me through the Holy Ghost that after I have served Jesus to Christ then the Holy Spirit will let me go on to glory All right. tell the Lord thank you then they had Anna in the temple right. praying always in the temple praise God and prophesying to the people you ought to be able to want to go to church yes. now anytime the only person that I know that really don't want to go to church is the devil mm -hmm. anytime you get the inkling Oh, bless the Lord. If, if, if you get the end, if it come across your mind, All right. I don't mind going, but I just don't want to be there. You know that Lucifer. All right. Look what Lucifer did. He looked at the temple that God dwell in. And look what he just started imagining stuff. Because it couldn't happen to him anyway. 
that he was going to build stall above the temple of God. Mm -hmm. But the thing about that is God hears me. He hears everything that I say. I, 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 I was last night, praise God, uh, looking at the word and the th thing that came to me very hard felt it was that everything you say, every thought that you have, every action that you do, God sees it. He knows it. And therefore, Brother Miller, you're going to be judged by everything you do. Tell it all. Thank you. God bless y'all today. And I hope I didn't embarrass y'all, I mean, um, and, and cause you to fall asleep. But I thank God for you on today. You have a wonderful Christmas. On tomorrow, we won't be here. You enjoy yourself. Praise the Lord. Enjoy your children. Oh, bless God. And the Lord keep you in the memory now. Jesus was born on that day. Praise the Lord. And that's why I, 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 don't, I don't get it. At Christmas, you find folks running around drinking a lot of liquor. <laughs> why are we drinking? Because they didn't, they didn't do that. That's not part of the celebration. Bless the Lord. And then they're drinking liquor, they're dancing. Dancing, praise God, there's, there's two types of dance. There's a holy dance. Then there's an unholy dance. The unholy dance can only mess you up. But the holy dance, you can dance your way right in the door. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, if I'm going to Let me dance my way to the game. The gates of the doors of the gates will swing wide open. Tell the Lord, thank you. If you're going to dance now, that's the word to dance. Dance for the Lord. If you're going to praise God, do it.